Are you on the lookout for proper information about the virus, aiming to create content that will help others but you don't know how to get the best information for those videos? Let's talk about that. Hey there, welcome to Freedom Quick Tips where you can get news and information about YouTube and other essential topics to keep your channel safe and monetized. On today's video, we will talk about how YouTube is helping disseminate trustworthy information about the virus and a few ways. Let's talk about what YouTube has implemented that can possibly help spread the information about the virus. Number one, health panels can be found on top when you visit YouTube. This might not spark as something big but even the tiniest detail about this epidemic can help us combat this virus. As long as there is a pandemic, YouTube will display information on panels that can be found at the top of the homepage, watch pages, and the similars. These are text-based pop-ups that gives you the latest news and information regarding the virus in your local vicinity. These updates came from the local health authorities like the WHO, or the NHS. Most likely, information related to your hometown or country situation will be displayed on these pop-ups, so keep an eye out for those. Number two is shelves exclusively for coronavirus topics. YouTube has dedicated a segment only for any topics that talks about the coronavirus. This is great, as people can just consume all the topics regarding the virus and its current state. Remember that disseminating verified information about the current state of the pandemic is crucial to get everybody involved in best practices, keep them updated and hopefully we can regain more control over the situation as soon as possible. Just a friendly reminder, always check and double check your sources for information regarding, well, any topic or news to be honest, not only about the coronavirus. Now that we know what initiatives YouTube has been taking to disseminate information as fast as they can, let's talk about now how they are actually helping people. Number one, content creators can monetize COVID videos. YouTube has now allowed the monetization of COVID videos but they must fall under YouTube's community guidelines. Creating content about the virus can be a great tool for content creators to help spread awareness of the current situation, best practices, their personal situation, and so on. Just be mindful of what you share. Always check your sources before spreading information and stay safe while creating content. Number two, YouTube has a new collaborative initiative called the hashtag stay home and blank hashtag with me. This kind of initiative helps content creators make relevant content that spreads awareness to people to stay home and keep safe until the pandemic ends. This is also a good way for content creators to join and get their videos featured on the features page of YouTube. Ain't that dandy? All these initiatives gives us hope and it helps all of us to be properly informed and give content creators content ideas. This is something to be aware of. Because of the virus, there will be an increase in falsely demonetized and removed channels as YouTube will be cutting down on their human reviews to ensure the safety of their employees. So if you think your videos are falsely removed or demonetized, you can appeal the decision and get a human review. As a best practice, always upload your video one or two days before the release date, unlisted, so you will be somehow sure that your videos won't be demonetized. Please note that even if you follow the upload unlisted and wait process, there is a chance that your video might get demonetized once the visibility of your video is changed to public. YouTube is doing their own initiative to help out and we applaud them. But now we would like to ask you, what are you doing during the pandemic? What type of content are you creating? As always, if you have any questions or suggestions, do let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell icon. This has been Freedom Quick Tips and we'll see you on the next video. Goodbye!